The IMF noted in a recently published article that the Chinese economy is expected to contribute a quarter of global growth this year, and that's good news for China and the world. What's your response? This is certainly good news, which again shows the international community's confidence in the prospects of China's economic growth. Despite growing risks in the world economy and surging undercurrents of protectionism, China has been committed to opening up and has opened its door even wider to the world. Last year, China. China's foreign trade hit a new record, and China has been the world's largest trader in goods for six years running. China is also actively engaged in multilateral cooperation. Since China put forward the Belt and Road Initiative a decade ago, China has signed BRI cooperation documents with 151 countries. Over the past years, since the Regional Comprehensive Economic Partnership came into force, China's total import and export with other RCEP members reached 12.9 trillion yuan. Up by 7.5 percent year on year, and China's import and export with eight RCEP members registered double-digit growth, adding a strong boost to regional economy. Some Western developed countries, however, have been building small yards with high fences and advocating decoupling and disruption of industrial and supply chains. They imposed you know, additional tariffs to rectify trade deficits, restricted foreign investment to defend national security, and put in place technological blockade to protect intellectual property. In a highly independent world, interdependent world, protectionist moves will boomerang, and practices of decoupling and supply disruption are neither feasible nor sustainable. China will stay on the course of high-level opening up and work with the world to help each other succeed and usher in a better future.